I guess in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to add an instance of SQL Server database engine. So, add here or database administrator is often asked a question whether it is possible to hide a SQL Server instance. The answer is yes. So, by using hiding purpose, the name of a particular instance is not visible to other across your network. So this is the main benefit add here. So name of the particular instance, the hiding instance is not visible to other across your network. So let's see how to hide uh, instance of SQL Server. And here I'm going to open SQL Server. So in my laptop add here, so I'm using uh, two version of SSMS. First is 2012 and here or uh, 2014 so i'm going to say you first so add here this the sql server 2008 so here you can find microsoft sql server so add here you can find sql server management studio so this is the 2012 now here after microsoft sql server 2014 so here you can find sql server 2000 ssms 2014 and here you can find SSMS 2012. So the two version is there. So you can open any version. Now here after, so here you can go server name. So our database should be selected. Now here after go to our server name and here click on browse. So add here, go to local here after network service. So it's a retrieving the data so it might take few second now here after i'm going to open configuration manager so it's taking time so that here i'm going to open sql server configuration management so here you can find sql server 2014 you can open anyone so here or uh, it's a uh, now let's see add here database engine now click on plus so here you can find uh, two version so first is Lenovo PC that is for 2012 and here Lenovo PC SQL Server 2000 so this is the 12 so add here this is for 2014 so add here so I'm gonna hide this one okay so I open configuration manager so add here this is SQL services so it's all running now here after let's go to SQL Server network configuration and here after or oh, this is selected now here after select this one here right click go to properties now here so this is the hide instance so i'm going to hide at here so i open with sql server 2014 so this is the hide instance so it's a, a selected no so if i click on yes and here after apply so it's asking any changes made to save however they will not affect until the service is stop or restart so here, uh, prevent the SQL Server browser service from the exposing this instance of database engine to the client computer. So this is the use of hide instance. Now let's click on OK. Now here after that I hide. So this is at here SQL Server 2014. So now here after I just cancel that one. And here after going to connect it again. Connecting browse mode here after network instance. So it's taking time few seconds It's a retrieving data So look uh, here So since I used at here SQL server 2014 so it will hide the instance of SQL server 2014 now from here you can so at here or uh, previously as Lenovo PC or SQL Server 12 was there. Okay, now it's you cannot find these things. So this is the way we can hide SQL Server instance in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.